Cemeteries are about the living as much as they are about those who've deceased. They're a way for um, people to be remembered and for family members to have a place to gather to remember their loved ones. It's a way for us to, to remember those who've come before us and the role that they've played in making Colorado Springs who we are today. Sometimes when you're done and you rinse, you're almost like, oh, maybe I like the darker. Because <laughs> I could read it better, right? Sure. Because based on the color of the stone, sometimes it gets hard to see the etching. You're like, oh. You we are it's currently good. in Evergreen Cemetery uh, near downtown Colorado Springs. Uh, it's one of my favorite places to visit. Um, it really is a repository of history for Colorado Springs. Many of my favorite people are here, um, or at least their, their headstones are. Um, and it's a terrific way to remember the community that we came, that we live in and, and some of the key deci decision makers and influencers um, from our history. When you have a cemetery called Evergreen, it takes a lot, especially in Colorado, to keep it green, to keep it lush. Uh, to keep the trees in good condition. And we have about 85,000 people who've been buried in Evergreen over the years. Um, and, you know, as you can see on just about any given day, there will be, be people visiting the cemetery. And it's certainly an important place for, um, for people with family members, loved ones uh, that are here. It's also just a great place to come and visit. Uh, it's like an urban park. This particular cemetery is on the National Register of Hist Historic Places, and so it's been recognized for its um, historical, architectural design importance to this community. Um, it, it is a beautiful place that um, is really, in many ways, at the, at the heart of our community. You know, I'm, I'm a historian, and so my bias is that, that history is important. It is, it is foundational to who we are as a people, remembering those before us.